Hey everyone, it's the third devlog of my Clash of Clans clone. It's new year, and I'm going to start working on a new way for building placement. Alright, in game pressing, a key slides the buildings list in. It loads all the buildings and their names. You can select a building and place it. Also, you can place multiple walls without constantly having to select it. Then, I worked on making icons for the buildings. Here are the icons for every building. These icons are generated at runtime, which means if I change something, the icon will automatically reflect those changes. I changed the building loading system by switching to a JSON format. This allows me to easily input values, and the script will handle the loading and management process. I then made the building's movement smooth. It was really easy using lerp function. You can now rotate buildings by pressing R. I added a pop-up animation when a building is placed. Then added a texture to walls. After these small changes, I added the ability to select buildings. Now you can see that there is a selection box that follows the mouse. And if I go over here and place a cannon, I can select the cannon. And deselect by clicking on it again. I can select any building. Now if I place buildings here and select one, I can delete it by pressing the button that appears. I know, I know deleting buildings doesn't make sense in Clash of Clans, but I made it so I can build and test the system. Then I can add the options for upgrading later. I also made a new model for the Elixir Collector. The script automatically generates the icon for this. The old model was not mine. I downloaded it from Sketchfab so it looked out of place. I also added small particles to it. I started to work on a new elixir storage. Here is the elixir storage in game. In Blender, 
I have made multiple meshes for the coins. The first stage contains few coins. The second stage is filled half the way. And so on. In script, I can toggle between them based on how full they are. You might see that the progress bars are at zero. That's because currently there is no storage for them. If I place the gold storage, it increases the capacity of gold by 1500, which is the same for a level one storage in the original game. At first, it's empty. But if I place a gold mine, you can see how the model changes based on amount of gold. I can increase the storage by adding more. It's the exact same with elixir storage. The elixir slowly fills up. In the JSON file, I can specify the capacity of resources and the stages. The script will toggle between those stages. Same with the elixir storage. I can also control how fast the collector fills the storage. 